Members of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force were hard at work again as there has been yet another shooting incident on the island of Providenciales. It was almost fatal this time, as luckily the two men who received gunshot wounds are still alive. Press liaison officer of the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force explains. Well, on Monday night, um, which is last night, Monday the 15th, um, the police received a report of a shooting incident in Q-Town about five minutes past ten. We responded within five minutes time. The first officers were on the scene at ten past ten. We interviewed some persons there and we were told that two young men had been shot and they were taken to the Myrtle Rigby Health Complex. The police also went there to the Myrtle Rigby Health Complex where we spoke to two young gentlemen who had received gunshot wounds to their body. News 4 cannot give the identities of the injured men as according to Detective Sergeant Chase, the case is sensitive and details are sketchy. Meantime, Chase is calling on members of the public for help. Um, that investigation is in its early stages and we are appealing to the public, anyone who might have heard anything or saw anything in that area to contact the police. Shooting incidents on the island of Providenciales appears to be commonplace lately, but what is the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force intending to do about it? Uh, as you know of late, we have been getting one or two incidents of shooting in various districts and the uh, top brass of the police force have put certain things in place to deal with those shootings and those serious crimes in certain areas. So one of the things we have put in place is high visibility police, meaning that we will concentrate in some heavy police presence in those areas which have been written up surge in crime. And Q-Town is one of those areas and that is one of the measures that we, are take, we will be taking along with a number of others. Well, the police, as usual, we, 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 we do search warrants on people that, that we you know, get intelligence on that are supposed to have guns, and we, we are in the process of doing a lot. As every day and night, we conduct stop searches at randoms on vehicles and persons in search of illegal firearms and drugs or something, and those are some of the measures we hear. Plus, we are into intelligence-led policing. Intelligence-led policing, Chase said, is key to moving forward. He said this will catch the criminals in the act or before the act of these serious crimes. Meantime, the Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force received criticism from residents as we received conflicting reports that the incident occurred around 8.30 p.m. and the police arrived hours later. However, Detective Sergeant Chase denied those claims. Yes, that is, there is no truth to that. The report came at 5 past 10, and at 10 past 10, the first police were, officers were on that scene in Q-Town. And then at, I think their next set of police went to the hospital at 10.23. Multiple sources have told News 4 that it was a drive-by incident where a number of men were enjoying a game of dominoes when they were blasted with what is thought to be a machine gun. According to the report, the men ran for cover underneath cars and behind buildings. Detective Sergeant Hayes did not confirm this, but Provo police are still investigating. In other crime news, Chabo Capron is on the TCI's wanted list. Detective Sergeant Chase appeals to the public. The police are appealing to the public. We are looking for Chabo Capron. He is wanted for attempted murder. This incident took place in Five Keys on the 17th of January 2010. Chabo Capron is considered armed and dangerous. So we are asking the public to be aware of Chabo and to contact the police on any sightings you have him. We also want to warn the general public that if you are found to be in association with Shabo Capron, you can find yourself at the hands of the law. And we are asking people not to go down that road. News 4 will have more as both of these stories develop. For WIV for News, I'm Takara Bain.